Greetings, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Cryptarch. Uh, I am just going in for the thrill of the game. Uh, we got our butts kicked in the last episode and had to end that run. We're skipping the tutorial because we don't need anyone's pity tech. I threw it on the ground. You can't buy me a tutorial, man. All right, we've seen this. It's all about figuring out strategies to play successfully. Loadout max 60k, that's what killed me last time. Loadout max 60k, not into it. 100k at this point in the game isn't so bad, especially on a level one map. Um, but it looks like we'd only get 36, 50, 64. It's more bonus than this has. This one has 36, 50, 60. But then it's actually worth 8,000 more. Uh, and has about a minute longer time limit. Uh, time limit is awesome. What is this one? Destroy alarm. Keep door lock, loadout mag. We don't even have to destroy the alarm here. We, we have to keep the alarm, actually. Uh, so let me show you. This mission is going to be a breeze. We can just nuke the core. There's no shield. Um, we will have to clear out the enemies around the core unless it's up against a convenient wall where we can drop the nuke right behind it. Uh, my favorite initial loadouts. Uh, six hull is our limit here. I... am a big fan of shotgun. Mm, the spike would be fine. Uh, maybe we should go for the blaster and the shotgun. Spiky grenades. to shoot you do kind of delay that recharging but mostly that's not what this is going to be for because we have the shotgun for most of our combat this is just so we don't run out of shotguns in a really awkward manner okay so the trick is going to be collecting tech of which there's only four so we want it all so we'll probably come in here grab the tech grab the tech You do have time before the brain is destroyed. Oh, look, we just need a key. There's like nothing in there. So we will uh, set the nuke, and then we're gonna run and grab this while the nuke is doing its work. Because it does take maybe 10 or 15 seconds for the nuke to kill the brain, because not all the brain is vulnerable at the same time. Uh, which means that while it's being, in, you know, the nuke does horrific damage, but it does it over time. So, oh, whatever. Forget you thing. So yeah, this won't be too hard. It is going to be uh, drones spawning in every five seconds, but I'm not horrifically worried about it. Looks like we get a 30 second jump on it. And this map will be over quite quickly. We want to remember to boost around inside because there's not a particularly huge density of enemies. We can just kind of fly around really fast. Um, so, let's get on with it. We have our nuke, we have our nuke, we have our six, we've got some stuff, we've got shotguns. You know, I don't even need this blaster. Um, oh, for 5k, it's safer this way. Nope, it, we only did a 75k loadout. There's 
tech number one. Head up here to tech number two. Don't want to deal with it. Here's our tech. Trying to trigger as many enemies as possible. Here's our tech. Might as well grab this tech up here. No point in Got the rail cannon. That's kind of nice, except for that fact that. Okay, we're gonna rock this. Open it up. Okay. Kill that. Oh, got hit. And then we just run away. Triggers the alarm, but we're not nearby. Triggers the alarm again. Uh oh. Did the nuke not get it? Ah, the nuke. I was counting on it. Maybe I wasn't close enough. Well, now, the situation is fucked up. That went from smooth to not so smooth. It may be that the nuke... Uh, it seems like we must have moved too far away and the core became invulnerable. We did finish in about half the time, capture everything. Um, we lost a little money because we don't get to salvage. Our equipment rebate will be a little lower uh, because we had to use our heal. But even then, we kind of overpowered it. With all of the alarms going off and the enemy swarming in on us, we still made 213k overall. So, what's next? Six hull, destroy alarm, no supply pods. Okay, so that's an easy one. Uh, destroy alarm, keep drone factories. Fine, there's only one. That's not so bad. Three max hull. Not, not, not a death sentence on a uh, level two. Six max hole, loadout 60k on a three point scrapyard. That doesn't seem fun at all. Destroy repair systems, always desirable. Three max hole, that sucks. Keep armorings, that kind of sucks. Um, especially with two drone factories. Uh, this one is doable. If I paid more attention to the tech I got, I'd be into it. But let's actually go with a cheap one that we know we can crush, right? 86. 122. This one has pretty expensive bonuses. That's 26, 93. You could probably make about 30 or 40 percent more cash here. Um, it has seven tech advances, but only five minutes to do it. This one actually has about six. Let's just go here. Remember that time is money and we can make a significant amount if we go under. So an easier mission you can finish quicker is worth um, a bit more than it might look like, especially if it has a long time limit. So three max hull. Destroy alarm systems, keep drones. Let's see where the alarm is. Pretty easy to get to. Here's a key, we can jump right in. There is a repair system. All the way at the other side of the ship. That's annoying. Um, sentry system is here. I think we're going to want to nuke the repair system. 
Otherwise, we have to fight the swarms of drones that come out of it. And, of course, it regenerates quite quickly, which is a pain. Um, so let's fly in here, snag this key. Uh, and this key. Let's destroy the sentry system first, so the repair system works on that. Then we'll destroy the alarm. Uh, alarm systems do take a significant amount of time to kill, unless you have piercing weapons that'll shoot through their armor or explosives. Maybe we could take two nukes. So we'll destroy the sentry system. We'll grab both these keys because the sentry and the alarm behind locked doors. We'll nuke the alarm. As the nuke is killing it, um, uh, I guess we have to stay close enough that the nuke will kill it because it'll go into its invincible ball if we don't. Uh, we'll fly up here. We'll nuke this alarm system. Wait, wait, wait. I could just nuke this brain. Let's look where it is. Um, yeah. Yeah, we can probably nuke that. If we sit here, we'll probably be safe-ish. If we attack the brain at all, the alarm system will trigger, which is going to be something, a big no-no for us. Maybe I could set up the nuke right here. Or I could just go in the back, blow all these things away. That might actually be easiest. Um, we'll have to destroy that shield. So let's see. Kill this. Then we'll kill this. Oh no, we have to keep the... Oh sweet, so the alarm will actually be deactivated. So let's see. Do, do, do. We'll circle around here. Come back through here. Kill this. By the time we've killed the shield, likely the sentries will be back online. And then we can just nuke the core before the alarm finishes respawning. Okay, so two nukes. Ah, we got the teleport beacon. Um, you can place a one-spot recall, or one-shot recall, which is pretty good. Um, Looks like we got the rail cannon. Uh, that thing is pretty brutal. Stinger pod and the storm hammer. Okay. You know what? Storm hammer is pretty solid. We'll take it. It has infinite ammo, which is really nice. I wonder if the rail cannon. I haven't played with Rail Cannon much. This is a nice, easy-ish mission. Um, let's just take a couple shots of the Rail Cannon. I don't, I think... Oh, that's a storm hammer. My bad. There's the Rail Cannon. You can actually, so it takes a while to charge, but you can hold down the trigger for as long as you want and then release when you feel ready. Okay, I gotta remember it comes out of my nose. It does seem to pierce, which should mean that I can actually use it to destroy the uh, alarm system without using a nuke. Um, that would save me a good deal of money. I think the storm hammer also works. Storm hammer. Yeah, this might be serious overkill. Let's uh, skimp on one nuke. How much is a teleport beacon? 10k? Mm, let's try and fly a little cheap, as this isn't a high gain mission, really. Okay, so primary, we've got shotgun and shield, uh, storm hammer occasionally, it doesn't use ammo, and then we're taking eight railgun shots um, just to play around with them. We definitely want to try them out on the alarm system. And the sentry system, remember that you can only harm the sentry system when you're facing down its gun barrels, so it can be a pain in the butt. Armor-piercing weapons are good against systems like that. So, do we have everything we need? Destroy alarm, keep drones. So we're just going to sweep up through here and then nuke that, I think.
play it safe. I don't have that much health. Oh, that was a roving alarm. Okay, the railgun killed that in one shot. That was insane. Okay, we are running a little low on health. Stormhammer. Looks like the railgun does simply fire through that thing's armor. That made that really easy. Okay, we want to move through the ship, destroy the core before it regenerates the alarm. This is going to be a little close. How are we doing? 85% done. We need to destroy the core. Yeah, we should have time. There's only one tech we haven't gotten. We kind of grab those things. That's how nukes work on the core. I guess if you get too far away from the core, it becomes invincible. Or maybe I did something else stupid. But we rocked that one. Um, got some really heavy uh, weaponry from it. And now we're almost 500k up from where we started. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Uh, I want to keep it to about two missions per episode and as you can see sometimes it pays off to tackle the easier missions uh, and I hope I hope you appreciate how well nukes can work on things as well as the power of armor piercing against certain uh, ship systems particularly the railgun other piercing type weapons uh, flak flak type things will go through uh, the plating of systems and easily destroy systems that can otherwise take you a ton of time. Alarm systems in particular, the sentry system, knowing that it can be wiped out by one railgun shot is really pretty impressive. Uh, of course, they do get more powerful later in the game, uh, but the same basic uh, strategies and tactics will still apply. So, until next episode, do as I say.